you are watching this video probably because you are not satisfied with performance of your current computer, most probably Mac, and you felt down of a chair when you saw Apple's prices and options. So I will tell you right now five reasons why you should do a wise decision and consider to build a Hackintosh. Hi, I'm Teresa from Morgonaut.cloud and I help people with their Apple Macintosh computers and Hackintosh builds. If you are new here, then please click that subscribe button and hit the bell next to it so you won't miss any of my future videos. Despite dozens of myths flying around internet about how Hackintosh is hard to build, how it's not so compatible or stable, blah blah blah, the reason number five why to build a Hackintosh is it is easy. It can be really very easy when first someone really knows what to do and how to do it or second take advantage of for example my already done tested and verified builds for which I offer to download whole already prepared and tweaked EFI folder configuration. For those who don't know what I'm talking about the EFI folder contains all that magic that makes an ordinary PC computer a perfect Hackintosh. So doesn't matter if you are absolute beginner at this, really all you need to do is just to buy exact components which you find in video descriptions of my videos and download that EFI folder and just copy it to EFI partition of your Hackintosh disk. Of course you need to install macOS on that disk, but I've done very simple and easy to understand tutorial how to do it. Again, all you need you can find in this video description. So if you will follow my steps and advices, you can have your perfect Hackintosh up and running in just an hour. So those who say to build a Hackintosh is not easy are liars or they simply don't know how to correctly do that. And that's why I'm here. I help people to build a perfect Hackintosh for their needs and I even offer personal individual support or remote help. In past years it was much harder to make things working as expected, but these days it was never been easier to build a Hackintosh. Reason number four, control the specs. With Hackintosh you have freedom of choice. If you will look at what Apple currently offers, you are limited to just few configurations. In most options you cannot choose your own GPU at all, even it's so important part of any build. Look at this. You can change your GPU only on most expensive configurations. Vega 20 with just 4 GB of VRAM in 2019? Sorry, no I don't want that. I want to choose CPU, memory brand, capacity, timings, RGB, GPU of my choice with amount of VRAM of my choice. Look at this 6 core i5 paired with RX 570. So right now for example for video editors this GPU would be a bottleneck. Watch my video called Budget 4K Video Editing Hackintosh where I have proven that even Intel Core i3 8350K paired with RX 580 is in perfect balance. So for this i5 CPU in this iMac you would need more powerful GPU to have a balanced system. But Apple does not give you this option. So let's have a deeper look what Apple offers to us in 2019. Let's choose the latest 2019 iMac and try to configure it. So let's start with the first one. What we can change here? No CPU options. Only up to 16 gigs of RAM in 2019? Really? 1 terabyte 5400 RPM prehistoric mechanical hard drive? No option to change GPU? So what about the more expensive model? Retina 4K, it looks more promising, so we can choose between i3 and i7, no i5 and i9 options. Only up to 32 gigs of RAM and again old mechanical hard drive. No option to change GPU. Ok, so what about the most expensive one? 4K 6 core CPU, i5 or i7, no i9 option. And again only up to 32 gigs for 600 bucks? Really? 600 bucks for 32 gigs of RAM? Look at this. 64 gigs for 400 bucks. Apple's 32 for 600 bucks. 64 for 400 bucks. What the hell is going on here? In Apple probably think we are total idiots. 
And finally we have first option to change the GPU. For 350 bucks we can upgrade to Vega 40, but with only 4 gigs of VRAM in 2019 only 4 gigs for 350 bucks. Ok, so let's have a look at the more expensive 27 inch model. First option, no option for CPU. Only up to 32 gigs, great. Again, old mechanical hard drive. Can we change GPU? No! No option to change GPU. So, let's try the more expensive one. We can change CPU from i5 to i9. What about I would like to have i7? No way! Oh! Option for 64 gigs of RAM for 1000 bucks? Look at this! 64 to 666 MHz for 400 bucks? 64 to 666 for 1000 bucks. Can I change GPU? No, I can't! In which universe is Apple operating? Not in mine! I have no idea why Apple offers not balanced configurations. Maybe they think we are absolutely dumb. I mentioned in my videos how crucial it is to choose the correct hardware combination for music workstations, for video editing system and so on. Simply no part should be a bottleneck, so you can fully utilize all components in your build. With Hackintosh you can achieve better balanced system than with most Apple configurations. According to reason number 4, there is reason number 3. Hackintosh is easily expandable and upgradable. You can start with Intel Core i3 CPU and RX 560 for example and any time later when your demands will rise you can upgrade to even Intel Core i9 CPU and multiple Vega Frontier Editions GPUs. In IMAX you can change yourself only memory. In MacBooks you cannot change anything. With Hackintosh you have again absolute freedom. You can choose huge disk array, choose cooling you want, you can even build your custom water loop. You can add RGB fans if you want, you can choose a case of your liking or even rebuild it to some original Apple Power Mac G5 or Mac Pro case like you can see in my other videos. Simply, with Hackintosh you have absolute control over all your components. Reason number two, performance versus cost ratio. Apple in past decade shipped Macs with few years old CPUs and GPUs, but recent years it's getting little better. But still, Apple computers have really stunning design, that's without debate. But on the other hand, this amazing design have its own downside. It does not offer proper heat dissipation and cooling efficiency. That results to throttling of components, even Apple CPUs are clocked lower than its PC counterparts. In my video called 14 core iMac Pro Killer, I made a comparison of Intel Core i9 9900K Hackintosh build versus Apple 14 core iMac Pro. In multi-core performance this Hackintosh was 2.4% slower, in single core workloads was 29% faster, but overall 3.3 times cheaper. Price of this ultimate killer Hackintosh was $2434 versus $8000 of the iMac Pro. So on this single build you can save $5566, it's insane. If you will want for example upgrade memory on that iMac Pro, Apple is charging for 64GB $1000 and you cannot choose which model or brand. For your Hackintosh you can choose any super fast memory you want, even those with high frequency and low timings for two times cheaper. Or choose slow memory at speeds Apple offers and you can save even more money. And finally we are getting to my most favorite reason why to build a Hackintosh. Reason number one, repair costs. Apple computers have one year worldwide warranty. You can extend this period by buying Apple Care, which is another additional quite high expense. If you build a Hackintosh, you get at least two years, mostly three years warranty on all components right from your local dealer. And some components have even a lifetime warranty. And now the funniest part, when some component will die in a Mac, the repair costs would be quite the same as price of a new Mac. Because Apple does not repair their computers by replacing faulty component, because its design is mostly just one single piece of logic board, so fixing a faulty GPU on that motherboard is not possible. Apple will simply replace the whole logic board, even the CPU and all other parts are working great. 
I recommend you to visit YouTube channel of Louis Rossman. He repairs all kind of Apple computers. In most cases, people who were in official Apple store to ask for repair got answer something like, we can repair it, but it's gonna cost you 1,300 bucks. We need to replace the whole board, and so on. This guy repaired it for free. Problem was just bent pin on LCD connector. There is also one lady, Jessa Jones, who is able to recover data from flooded iPhones after Apple said, no, it is impossible, and advised you to buy a new iPhone. So, now you have probably a better idea how is Apple fooling us, cheating and constantly trying to pull money out of our pockets. Until people will stop accept that insane Apple behavior, nothing will change. It looks like Apple completely forgot who saved Apple before bankruptcy a lot of years ago. Yes, we, we saved Apple, we professional users, but Apple does not care about us anymore. I still don't want to believe it, but it looks unfortunately like that spirit of good old days under Steve Jobs leading is definitely gone. So, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and build yourself a perfect Hackintosh. Build yourself a wonder machine, expandable, upgradable, powerful, easy to repair and save a lot of money on it. You absolutely don't have to feel bad about it when Apple is treating us like idiots. If you would have any troubles with building your Hackintosh, I am always here to help. In this video description you can find all necessary informations. So, I hope you found in my today's video some new inspiration. If so, please click on the like button below. Click also the share button so more people can benefit from it. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell next to it so you won't miss any of my future videos. You can also join my Macintosh and Hackintosh groups on Facebook, Reddit or my website. Links are again now in this video description. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time my Macintosh and Hackintosh friends.